Hey, welcome back, Bob the Vaping Computer Guy. It's a Monday, and it's a vlog. So welcome back. Sorry if I'm going to be vaping a lot in this uh, vlog. I've been really enjoying some new juice here. Actually, new juice, old juice, but really been enjoying it. Um, so, a bunch of different things, just a little bit of rambling today. I was trying to do, uh, this day's Monday, I was trying to do a live show on um, Friday night. Didn't work out, just life came up. Uh, it's very hard to, you know, I've been trying to schedule something. Either do my vlogs on a scheduled day or do a live show, uh, stuff like that. But it's really hard because, you know, life, work, everything else, very hard to set an exact schedule for me to do those kinds of things. And something came up Friday night, so I didn't get to do it. Um, wanted to do the vlog on Saturday as a live show, didn't get to do it. So, uh, all of that, it's hard. But a uh, bunch of different things, been collecting some notes. So, um, start off, tell you what I've been vaping on. All the traditional stuff everybody does, but you know, that's what we do. Still using this Lazimo, uh, Laissimo, or Lazimo. I've heard people say it Laissimo, maybe that's it. I'm saying Lazimo. Uh, 200 watt, really enjoying this still. Using this with, uh, uh, Q, uh, what is this tank? Cleto. Cleto tank, 0.2 ohm coil on here with um, some of this uh, Happy Tongue by Vista Vapors. Um, picked up some more of that. That They sent this in for review a while ago. I've been ordering more of it at 1.5, Nick. Um, really nice. Working out well. Sixty-seven watts in here. Really enjoying that. Also, it took some of... Um, what do we got here? This is... Um, Big Lou from Big Lou East Coast Review, his Faded Apple uh, Crew Juice, and I liked it, but it was faded. I like stronger flavors. I really wanted something stronger, um, so I dumped a whole bottle, practically, of um, apple, you know, flavoring from D my DYI. You can see I put almost that whole bottle in there, all right, and it made that Faded Apple a really good, not Faded Apple. Uh, threw a little nicotine in there. Uh, you know, for those of you who've been following me, you know, I was doing some DIY stuff. Um, and I still do a little bit, uh, but I'm finding that I enjoy more having being able to like boost that apple flavor. Stick a little, put a little nicotine in, into a zero nick bottle, and it came out with a great juice there. So I've been enjoying that on uh, a V Park tank. V Park that reminds me of something else about that um, with this I Stick 50. Nothing faded about that apple now. Really been enjoying it. V Park, um, just to get onto that while I remember it. Um, so there's been a few people out there doing some reviews. I think uh, Matt from Suck My Mod did a review of V Park's latest, um, I think it's a 70 watt kit, gave it um, flying reviews. He loved it. Uh, then I think, um, I think it was Vape and Fagan did a review of it, and he liked the mod but didn't like the tank. Um, but uh, V Park, you know, they're, they're not that well known, but they were one of my first, I guess you call them sponsors, you know, first company to send me stuff. And um, they sent me a lot of stuff in the beginning. I've still been doing giveaways, uh, giving away some of their stuff in the, in the last couple of giveaways that I've done. Uh, so they, they sent me a lot of stuff, and they're a very underrated company, I think. They have, not underrated, but because they're not well known. Um, but they have some great stuff, great tanks. I still love these V Park uh, Max tanks. Uh, what do I got in here now? I think I got a 0.5. It's reading 0.6 on here, but it's a 0.5 ohm uh, Canthal, and they're just wonderful, wonderful tanks. Great flavor. Great tanks. Uh, still love Repock. Definitely recommend them, and a shout out to them. Um, but I'm glad, you know, now that they're seeing uh, some of the bigger reviewers are starting to do them, you know, when Suck My Mod's doing and stuff, they're probably not going to be sending me much stuff anymore. Uh, when they couldn't get their, their stuff on, on those big channels, you know, they were going to small guys like me. Uh, but now that they got the big guys out there uh, reviewing their stuff, I'm probably not going to see anything from v Park coming my way anytime soon. So, but that's good. Good for them. I want them to do well. They're, they're nice guys and they have some nice, uh, nice products out there. So that's pretty much all I've been vaping on. Been keeping this little thing handy. This is that uh, Joytech uh, Ego uh, AIO, um, you know, little starter kit there. And it's a mouth to lung vape, so I don't enjoy it much, but I put some different juice in there and keep going back to that. And I still got my uh, uh, Evic. I don't even know what juice is in there right now. I don't even have a tip on that. That is 
Magnum Opus um, uh, by uh, Seduced Juice. So got that going in there. I think that's all I got built right now. Just got those those four tanks going right now. So that's what I've been vaping on. Uh, I got about six articles that I've been uh, seeing in the last week, week and a half or so. Uh, this first one, uh, you know, this is for the advocacy stuff, uh, six misleading pro-vaping arguments we should stop using. This was by Lee Johnson from um, eCigaretteReviewed.com. I didn't like this thing. You know, when they write something like this, they're, it sounds like they're directed more towards people buying uh, you know, those little disposable e-cigarettes, the blue and those other brands. And I don't think anyone, I don't think any one of you or anyone that'll ever watch this video that goes on YouTube and looks at vaping videos is using those, those disposable convenience store type uh, devices. Um, and what he wrote here basically is like that. They're, they're directed towards that. And, and you know, it's a little, it bugs me a little bit. So I know you're not watching, but I'm going to talk to you like you are, Mr. Mr. Johnson. Um, you know, of course, the links to all these will be below. But he was writing, e-liquid only has four ingredients. And that's, you know, a, a pro-vaping argument we should stop using. And I disagree with him completely. Uh, basically, what he was saying is people are saying it only has PGVG nicotine and flavoring. He goes, um, you know, and cigarettes have 4,000. And that's what we always say, uh, you know, us pro-vapers. Um, but his thinking is, well, the problem is flavoring uh, doesn't whatsoever classify as a single ingredient. Who knows what's in the flavoring? There's so much in the flavoring. Um, that's true to some degree, but the flavoring is the flavoring that you would use in food. And we have to, if you say it's a strawberry vape, you got to say it's got strawberry flavoring. What goes into that strawberry flavoring from the manufacturer who's making a flavoring chemical um, that is making a food safe, food grade flavoring chemical? You know, we can't. We can't, uh, you know, go down to the nitty gritty of that. You know, I think that's 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 being too picky. Um, what you what should be said is that when you go out and you buy a bottle of juice, and it's a name brand company that's doing independent testing, uh, it's got four ingredients. It's got the flavoring, PG, VG, and nicotine. When you buy those blue cigarettes, and I'm just using that one as an example. There's a lot of them out there which are primarily owned by big tobacco these days. Um, those are the ones that we don't know what the hell is in them. Who knows what they're putting in those things? And that's what people, should, that, that's the misleading argument here. Is people should be talking about real vaping and not little e-cigarettes. Because I don't even classify this stuff as e-cigarettes. Uh, you know, this is vaping. Those are e-cigarettes. They're little electronic cigarettes that look like cigarettes, that are made to simulate cigarettes. That's what should be classified as e-cigarettes and this should be classified as vaping. I think it should be two totally separate categories and we should, you know, say that to people. Uh, things like all the ingredients in e-cigarettes are generally recognized as safe because they're FDA approved. Um, you know, the PG and VG and stuff like that. Um, and what was he complaining about that one? The perfect example of this uh, is diacetol. He's going into diacetol now. You know, just it's just bad when people write this. PG is used in asthma inhalers. He says that's a pro-vaping argument people use. I've been vaping for about two and a half years. Um, obviously, I've done a lot of videos. I do a lot of this stuff. I've never once heard in a video I've watched or anybody say PG is safe because it's used in an asthma inhaler. I have never, ever heard that until I read this argument. Because then he's saying that he looked up asthma inhalers and never saw PG in it. Um, I've never heard that, so I don't know where this guy's listening to things. Nobody's ever died from vaping. You know, I've never heard anybody say that either. I've never heard anybody say nobody's ever died from vaping. It's safe. That's, it's bullshit. No, nobody says that. Um, because, again, vaping is a few years old. Cigarettes is, I don't know, 100 years old. You know, we know you die from cigarettes. Um, in 50 years, we may say something different about vaping. But I doubt it. It certainly doesn't seem like that's the way the evidence is going by any means. So that's another thing he's talking about. I think he just made this up so he could write an article for his publisher. Um, ridiculous. Cigarettes have... I won't even get into the rest of this. It just aggravates me. This guy needs, you know... What, what would Donald Trump say? Somebody should punch him in the face. I didn't say that, though. You didn't hear me say that. I said Donald Trump would probably say that. Um... All right, here's another one. Here's another article. Equating vaping with smoking is medical malpractice. I guess this is a follow-up to uh, what I spoke about last week. Margaret Cuomo, um, sister of Governor uh, Cuomo here in New York, 
uh, who put out, um, I think on the Huffington Post, a video um, which was quickly taken down, edited, taken down, edited. Uh, they keep doing that. Apparently, uh, you know, there's more complaint, more information out there about what she's saying. She actually wrote a book, which I didn't know, called A World Without Cancer. And yet she is someone who's saying how bad vaping is and that we shouldn't do it. Um, maybe somehow she believes vaping is going to cause cancer. I don't know, but, uh, you know, there was a big controversy over that. So this is kind of a follow-up article by Reason.com, Free Minds and Free Markets. Uh, is the name of that website. So... I'll post this in there if you're interested in reading some more about the BS that she dished out in her video there that hopefully nobody is listening to. Uh, this was an interesting one that I didn't like. Uh, smoke without fire. Ja Japan becomes testing ground for real tobacco e-cigarettes. Uh, now this is bad. This is bad for the vaping industry. And this is being led by big tobacco. Um, Two tobacco giants are seeing stronger demand for their reboots of e-cigarettes in Japan with Philip Morris International. Uh, twice postponing a nationwide rollout and Japan tobacco uh, suspending shipments both due to supply so shortages. Japan has become a key testing ground for two companies and their new real tobacco e-smokes as they grapple with the shrinking demand for traditional e-cigarettes. So basically they're starting to make e-cigarettes that have real tobacco in them. Um, we believe the success of IQOS, I guess that's the device, commercialization in Japan will accelerate its global expansion. Philip Morris, uh, Japan, President uh, Paul Riley told Rutgers. Uh, Japan Tobacco, let's see, uh, the IQOS IQ is a tobacco stick that heats up just enough to produce a, an aerosol but not combust. The company is betting the presence of real tobacco will make it more satisfying to smokers uh, than e-cigarettes. This is a horrible thing. The last thing you want to do is start taking e-cigarettes putting tobacco in them because it, if it ever comes to the United States that makes it very easy for them to classify e-cigarettes probably all of them as uh, a tobacco product this is a horrible horrible thing uh, they're doing it in Japan probably there's less regulations and they could probably get away with it easier there uh, but that's a horrible horrible idea uh, who wants tobacco the whole point is to get away from tobacco we don't want tobacco in our e-cigarettes but in Japan they're trying to push it and these companies are smart they know that if they can't pay, get something like that out in the US get it out in the rest of the world first and maybe it'll make its way here and if it doesn't they still got the rest of the world as a market so horrible idea um, hope someone shuts that down real quick um, and you have the new laws in Indiana um, basically a large company or a conglomerate of companies in Indiana got together and said we're gonna put a, we're gonna make um, these factories to make e-juice in we're going to put millions of dollars into these factories. We're going to make them top of the line, sterile, best uh, equipment, fanciest factories there are. And then we'll go to the, to, the gun, uh, to the government, to the state, and say, this is the way it should be done. Let's get some laws passed that makes this the standard and the minimum that you need in order to make e-juice. Um, and the whole idea is, think about all these small people who started a business with 30, 40, 50, 100,000 dollars that don't have a million dollars to put into a factory, now suddenly um, that's it. They can't uh, compete anymore and they're going to get shut down. And that's what they did. Um, so what they did was this was, uh, this was just signed, this is the United States Senate has just signed H.R. 1432 into law that will undoubtedly change vaping forever, whether or not the law stays. Um, let's see, uh, Zach and Bob Lincoln. My, my Monument Vapors, an Indiana vaping company, uh, uh, John Sider, Snyder, of Crown Liquors, Package Liquor Stores, according to somebody else and somebody else, owners of something else, security, all decided they would pull their resources together and force the entire state of Indiana to comply with the standards, with their standards all left out in the cold. They got what they wanted, a monopoly. Uh, the only security company that could provide the necessary requirements was, you guessed it, uh, that company. Uh, not only does this violate the interstate commerce law, well, then they talk about some of the legalities of it. But basically, they said, you know, we're going to make this top of the line thing, and it's wonderful, it's great, this is the way it should be done. And they convinced lawmakers there to say, yes, that's the way it should be done, and force everybody else that if you can't meet those standards, you can't make it, which puts all the small people out of business. Horrible, horrible thing. Stupidity, and also. Um, you know, it's it's money. It's these people with the money 
going to the lawmakers and, uh, you know, contributing, maybe contributing to them. I don't know. But, uh, you know, getting something that they wanted. It's the people with the money and the big business was able to get what they wanted, knowing it would shut down their small competitors and leave the business all in their hands and, and probably give them 90% of the business. So that's what they did there. Horrible. California governor urged to veto slew of anti-e-cigarette uh, e bills. Uh, E-cigarette business and vapors across California converged on the state capitol Tuesday uh, last week, urging uh, Governor Jerry Brown to veto bills that would put vapor products in the same category as tobacco, same stuff that's going on all over the place. Um, so uh, the bills are part of six package anti-tobacco measures that were passed March 10th but have not been sent to the governor's desk. Um, so again, they're trying to classify it in California, fighting hard to classify it as tobacco. As you know, uh, California is one of the strictest states. I mean, I know, you know, you go to buy a generator for your house online. You know, when I was looking to buy a generator for my home, and I remember seeing not certified for California. Go to buy a lawnmower, it says not certified for sale in California. Um, you know, California has the strictest, you know, laws like this. Uh, you know, New York is bad enough that we had the laws that they come up with over here, but I know California is even worse. And, um, they're, you know, they're having a bad fight out there on the West Coast. So, you know, I hope you guys uh, keep signing those bills and, and calling your congressmen, senators, and state assembly and, and fight as hard as you can because um, they will win. And then I read this last one here. And this is somebody who got burned by an e-cigarette. Kalamazoo, Michigan. Kalamazoo man says he was burned after his e-cigarette exploded in his hand. The man suffered third-degree burns. He asked that uh, we not use his name or show his face, but he shared a picture of his burns. The man says he was using his cigarette on Saturday night when it exploded. Uh, quote, took a couple of puffs on it, had it between my fingers, looked down, and my hand was on fire. The whole thing just completely exploded. Uh, he wants to warn other people about this. You don't know when these things are going to explode. Maybe some of them don't. I don't know, but they told me luckily uh, luckily I did not have to have it in my I didn't have it in my mouth or I would have put an eye out um, it could have been an enormous spark and explosion it could have been very slowly a very slow discharge of electricity uh, said someone from Kalamazoo vapor um, so these instances usually involve the batteries this is what he said which is true this is someone from I guess Kalamazoo vapor I guess they went to a vapor store and and um, who wrote this this is WWMT.com, West Michigan uh, News. I guess it's like a local newspaper there. So it looks like they went to a local vapor store and started asking someone's opinion. Good reporting. Good on them because that's usually not done. Um, uh, I just make sure the plastic wraps, uh, that the plastic wraps that are there for everyone's safety are in place and intact and still in good condition, uh, says this guy uh, Heskin who I guess is uh, the owner or manager of somebody at Kalamazoo Vapors. And I just did, it's funny because I did the video before I read this, but I just did a video, my last video before this one, was on rewrapping your 18650 batteries. Um, I put some batteries in this mod, uh, the Lee C Moke, and uh, they have very tight uh, springs on the uh, contacts for the battery, and it damaged my wraps on the end. So I rewrapped them, I figured, put a video out for that, which I did. So if you have any little tears on your batteries, uh, definitely rewrap them, because it's all you need is a little short in there for the batteries to vent. Um, so this was good advice that he gave. Um, the injured man told Channel 3, uh, spoke, uh, his very first, said this was his very first electronic cigarette. Probably went out and bought something like this, didn't know what he was doing, and didn't research it, didn't get enough information, or a store sold it to him, didn't explain it. Or he just didn't care and follow the instructions. Now, I'm sorry the guy got hurt. I, the last thing I ever wanted is someone to get hurt. But, um, you know, you don't go out and buy a generator for your house, like I was just talking about, and then just assume you just plug it in and pour gas in the thing and light up. You read the book. You study about these things. You learn how does this hook up to your house? How does a, tr a generator transfer work? How do you shut down one power from your, from your electrical provider and switch to a generator? You research these things before you deal with things that, that are powerful. You don't go out and buy... Uh, ride on tractor, you know, a big tractor machine, and just get on and assume you know what you're doing. Read the safety uh, information. Learn about something. People don't want to take the time to learn anything and educate themselves and expand their brain a little bit before doing something. And we all know vaping is something you need to study about. You need to read about. You need to watch videos about. You need to learn about it and know what you're doing. Um, otherwise, you go buy an ego. Uh, AIO kit like this, and even this has a 2200 milliamp battery in it, you still have to be careful. But you can plug it into the USB port on your computer, and it's probably not going to overload. So anyway, 
The man tells Channel 3 News he will require plastic surgery for his hand. He also plans to sue the e-cigarette manufacturer. Um, I, he might be related to the same person who sued McDonald's after she bought hot coffee and spilled the hot coffee on herself and got a million dollars for suing McDonald's. So they might be related. I don't know. You know, uh, certainly possible from what I'm reading about that. So anyway, those are my aggravating uh, vaping, or uh, I, I call them aggravating because most of the time they aggravate me to um, read those things. So anyway. Um, so that's it for, for, for the advocacy and uh, what's going on in the vaping news. Um, like I said, I was trying to do that live stream. I didn't get that to work. I'm going to try and do that again soon. I actually sat there Friday for about two hours uh, fooling around with live streaming software and trying to get it to go. And I did it on another channel that I have and couldn't get it to work. And uh, I got 35 years in the IT business um, and um, it was just aggravating me. And um, my son, my 11-year-old son, walked into my office, and uh, he goes, oh, you're trying to do live streaming? I said, yes. And he goes, well, you're not going to be able to do it unless you turn on that feature, and then you copy this code from, from YouTube and just paste it in there. And I went and did that, and suddenly the live streaming worked. So that, that, that's what happens when, as you get older, all right? I'm the one that normally teaches this stuff, and then my 11-year-old walks in and he teaches me how to do it. So, um, so I have a feeling I'll be uh, requesting his help when I can want to get that live stream up and running again and uh, hopefully we can do that sometime soon. So um, YouTube post. I just wanted to mention I try and answer every single uh, comment that everybody get, gets on there and some of them are just you know nice videos. Some of you guys uh, you know try and interact more and more. Uh, some people have questions and I try and answer. So I try and do that. If I ever miss uh, anyone out there, uh, you know I apologize. Um, you know, there's a lot of comments and I try and answer them all. People still, you know, post things on videos from a year ago. And um, I know a lot of reviewers say they respond to the recent videos, but they don't go back and respond to the old ones because it's just impossible. Um, I'm obviously not getting that many uh, comments like they do. So I do try and respond to every single comment, even if it's on a year old video. So if I did miss anybody, I apologize. I am definitely trying to do that, but I don't get to every other one. Um, I wasn't going to do a review for this. It's not worth it. I know some people actually put reviews out for this, but uh, I just want to show you guys. This is by Coil Master. This is their new uh, little ceramic tweezers they have. And it's a nice design, nice little $5 ceramic tweezers. Um, they work really well. You know, really nice hard ceramic tips there. They have these nice little uh, grips on top in case your tank is stuck. Slide that on there and allows you to turn your tank easily. It gives you a little extra grip there. And it even has a smaller inner one I guess you could use. Uh, like your drip tip if it doesn't come out or something. But nice little ceramic tweezers. I picked those up, but I'm not going to do a review for that. I just did the review. That's it. So I'm not going to, uh, you know, try and get a whole video out of it, more views just on that. So there's your review of that. Um, what else? What else? Some people ask me about, about coils. I have a video out a couple of weeks ago about coils, um, explaining the differences between temperature control coils and standard cathode coils and pre-built coils and, and everything. And if you don't know anything about coils, you know, or you feel you're not getting the best vape out of it or you're not getting, uh, you're getting dry hits, go back, watch that video. I explained it all in there. But a couple of people were asking me, what do I use mainly? Um, you know, and basically what I use more than anything else um, are 0.25, I'm sorry, 0.2 to 0.5 cathode. Um, whether I'm um, getting this, like I said, this is the VTAR, V Park, and this has got a point, uh, point 0.5 cathode coil in there. This uh, Cleto um, has a point 0.2, point 0.2 two ohm pre built coil in there. Uh, but then I'll go and, you know, build my own coils, and this is the um, El Diablo tank, and uh, this has got a point 0.5 ohm build in there, cathode. And uh, whenever I do, you know, build my own. Um, I'm usually using point, between 0.2 and 0.5 uh, ohms. With this 0.2 ohm coil, I'm rocking this at 67 watts. It's rated at uh, up to 70, 55 to 70. With this 0.5 ohm coil, uh, I got this going at about 37 watts right now. Um, so yeah, 0.5 ohm coils, usually you find, you know, I find between 30 and 45 watts. When you have a 0.2 ohm coil, you know, usually between 40 and 70 watts works best for me. It all depends on the tank, the coil, the build. Um, but that's pretty much what I use. Uh, so there you go. For the few people that were asking me that and I didn't answer you, I forget I'd just answer you on here. Um, I've been, I had a lot of stuff on order and I, ca I just canceled all the orders. 
Um, I, I used to order a lot of stuff from these Chinese companies, from Gearbest, Sigabai, uh, and these companies, and I, I've just gotten sick of them. Um, you save money, but um, like the Tsunami goes for what, $30, $35? I had it for $21 from Gearbest. 11 days after I ordered it, and it says it's in stock. 11 days later, it still says processing. Now, I know it's going to take three weeks to get to me, but if it takes them 11 days to process it, um, I, I canceled my order with them. I canceled orders with Sigabai. Uh, so a lot of stuff I had on order is not on order anymore, and I'm going to have to reorder stuff um, other places. Uh, I have a couple things coming in. I have that new, well, whenever it comes out from uh, um, J-Bo and uh, Suck My Mod, Matt from Suck My Mod, have that new Wismic theorem theorem uh with their new um <coughs> excuse me that new slotted coil uh that they have on there and i forget the name of that coil too but um i have that on order for whenever that comes out and a couple more things but uh i think i'm 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 done buying from chinese manufacturers i'm curious if you guys have the same problems i do i know it takes time when they ship but they shouldn't take uh, a week and a half that uh, to ship a product so Nice fate. Um, what else? What else? Uh, there are upcoming shows. Oh, yeah. Let me tell you about the, in case you're not familiar with the shows in the East Coast here uh, that are coming up. There's always shows in Vegas and California and stuff like that. But for you guys on the East Coast like me who don't travel out there, a um, couple of shows coming up. The newest one is coming up April 23rd. April 23rd. This is a one day show, I believe. It's called the American Vape Expo in Maryland. Um, it's at the Maryland State Fairgrounds in Timonium, uh, Maryland. Uh, it's AmericanVapeExpo.com. AmericanVapeExpo.com. Um, so that looks like a, a one-day show. Don't know how big it is. And that's about four hours from where I am, so I will probably be attending that. The next show after that is May 14th, uh, probably 14th and 15th, I guess. Uh, so that is called the Central PC Vape Expo, and that is in Shermansdale, uh, Pennsylvania. I don't have a link there for that. Why not? There's got to be a link. Let's see if I have a link for you that I can uh, that I can give you to their website. Do -do -do, calendar. And when I say that was May 14th, May 14th. Why don't? Oh, I do have it in there. I just didn't. Uh, all right, I don't have it. All right, so let's find a link for that. Thought I had one. Central PC Vape Expo. Okay, so Central PC Vape Expo dot net. All right, and that is on May fourteenth. That's a three day show. I think the Friday is the business to business, and then the um, rest of the show for the rest of us who are not in the vape business. You know, we don't own stores. Uh, Saturday and Sunday, the 14th and 15th, I believe. Most of these shows are like 10 bucks to get in. You order it online or $15 at the door or something like that. So uh, I'll put links below to both of those shows which are coming up. And so that's one later this month, one next month. And then in June, May, June, 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 June 25th, is Vapor Slam Syracuse. Um, and that's Vaporslam.com slash Vaporslam dash new dash York. Or you just go to Vaporslam.com, I'm sure you'll find it. That is, again, that is uh, June 25th, and that is Vaporslam in Syracuse. Those are the same people who put on the one in North Carolina, which is a great show. Um, so they will be having a version up here in Syracuse. Uh, that's only about three hours from me, just like the Pennsylvania one. So I will almost certainly, unless things come up, be attending that show as well. So you got three shows coming up in the next few months uh, for those of you who are interested. Um, as I said, the, I was a little disappointed the, with the uh, um, Vape Northeast in Connecticut because it was a juice show. They just had, I think there was two boots with hardware and they didn't have anything new, nothing new that I was looking for anyway. So, um, yeah, so that's that. Uh, so what else? Not much else going on. We discussed... Um, yeah, battery wraps in those articles. Uh, not ranking Chinese companies anymore. Coils, tweezers. Um, yeah, that's about it. So one thing I'm going to do is uh, let's do a, a sample box giveaway. You want a free sample box? Anybody want a free uh, six juice sample box? If you're uh, not currently a sample box member, um, 
subscriber. Let's see here. What can we do? I have codes here. I'm going to do the others when we have example box reviews, but I, I want to give out a code. Let's give out a free example box. Uh, basically, you get a code. You end up going to your website. Uh, you sign up. You use the code. You get a free, free one, um, and you can you can just get one. You can stay, you know, example box subscriber if you want. You can cancel it, but uh, you put in the code and you get one free example box. I'm almost positive it's uh, six juice, and you can customize it. You can choose your flavors. You, you don't get to choose exactly which juices, but you choose your flavors and you choose the flavors you don't want. And then they put together a box for you with six juices. So uh, I was thinking about what to do. How about the first person to comment below? telling me what the subject was about from my first video I ever did on this channel. So you'll have to just go back and find that, but uh, first person who puts what was the first video about um, that I did, you will get uh, a code. I will contact you through YouTube and send you the code and you will get uh, a free sample box. Um, you have to be 18 years or old, you have to be in the US or wherever sample box ships. I know they don't ship to Canada. I'm not sure where else they don't ship to, but I know they ship in the U.S. and I'm probably only in the continent, you know, in the, in the United States. So you have to be in the U.S., you have to be 18, um, and that's it. So first person to comment below, just tell me uh, what the first video I did was about, and I will send you a sample box code for a free sample box, all right? And uh, thank you to sample box for that, and um, if you happen to speak to them or you, uh, they give you comments, you know, tell them you got it from the vaping computer guy. So there you go. That's all I have for today. Uh, half hour, it looks like, right? About a half hour vlog here. And, um, yep, uh, watch for those alerts if you see if I can get to do uh, that live show. Uh, what I'd like to do is just try and do um, the next vlog and then, you know, like questions and answers, whatever else like that in the, in the live show. Um, I was going to do it on Friday night, and I know for those of you who watch um, Fresh and uh, his DIY shows, he's doing his on Friday nights now. And, um, you know, I, I like to watch, like, Vape and Fagan and those guys, but they do these things, you know, Sunday nights and Saturday nights, and they do them late. And you know, I'm 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 an early riser. I'm up at six in the morning, and uh, you know, by ten o'clock I'm asleep. So um, it's always hard for me to watch those things live. But um, I'm gonna try and time it. Tell me what you think about Saturday mornings. Um, that's you know, my kids have sports and soccer and stuff, so I don't always know if I'll be able to do that either. But uh, tell me if you think Saturday mornings is a good time uh, to do that. You know, a lot of people wake up on Saturdays. You got nothing else to do. Maybe you catch up on your videos on Saturday mornings, uh, you know, that you couldn't watch during the week. And maybe Saturday morning would be a good time for a live show. I don't think there's anybody else doing a live show on Saturday morning. So tell me what you think about that, if you think that that would work for you. You know, I don't want to do it at a time when I'm not going to get anybody uh, watching a live show. Uh, but it always gets reposted anyway, so no problem there. So, again, comment below. Please subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Share this video. And uh, first commenter below telling me what my first video that I did on this channel was about will get a sample box code. And uh, that's all I got to say for today. Thanks a lot for watching. See you next time.